morning everyone happy Friday not working today so I'm just out uh, this morning I have to go to uh, the pharmacy and grab a couple things I meant to do it as I left work yesterday and totally forgot and I don't want to do it tomorrow on Saturday so we'll just go today um, a little bit different mic setup. I took off like the, the dead cat noise buffer I had on the um, on the mic because it was tickling me constantly. Um, so now it's just a regular lapel mic with just a fuzzy cover on it. Uh, so I want to know if that has a, a difference in the in the sound. Um, as far as wind, I don't think it'll change anything else. Anyway, we're uh, off on a little ride this morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, after I get back from picking up this, uh, this prescription, I'm gonna put some air in the tires. I'm, I'm gonna check out that new uh, like pump I got, electric pump, and see how it does. We'll do a little review on that. And I might wash the bike today. Need to edit some video. I always need to edit video. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and then prepare for a lovely weekend. So hang on. And uh, let's go for a little ride now and let's see what we can get into. That's an interesting uh, paint style on that. All right, guys, back from uh, going to the pharmacy. So this is what I got. It's the, uh, I don't know, it's recommended on Amazon. It's ZGZUXO, ZGZUXO, I don't know. Anyway, it was cheap, it was on sale. It's like 50% off or something. Uh, let me take it out of the box, mess with it for a second, and then I will do the test here on the bike and see how it works. All right, this is essentially all of it right here. Um, the actual pump, it is not battery powered. You do have to plug it in because of the long, I think like nine or 10 feet cord here uh, for a cigarette lighter. So I'll plug it into Jamie's car, which is behind me. And then the air hose, which just screws in. And then it comes with a bunch of pieces, uh, adapters, and a nice little carrying case for it. So you can just keep it in the trunk of your car or whatever. Uh, when you're not using it. I'll probably just keep it in the garage to use on this bike. Look at this back rim, how dirty it is. That's all just grease from them when the chain got greased the last time at the, uh, when it got maintenance done, I think. I don't know, I need, a, I need, I tried to wipe it, but it's, it's greasy. It's not just road grime. So I need to uh, put some degreaser on it. Dominator exhaust still killing it. Awesome. All right, I did have to bring Jamie's car much, much closer. Uh, the length is good for the tires on the actual car, but to do it like this with, for my bike, I had to bring it up super close. So it's not long enough to do external things, but internal for the car, it would be able to reach every wheel. All right, I plugged it in, automatically turned on. Let me, uh, let me screw in the, uh, the hose here. Recommends 33 in the front and 36 in the rear. So I think I set it on 36. Let me, let me actually put it on the rim here. Dirty. All right, 
locked down. 36. And it went to 36. Wow, that was cool. All right, so yeah, my tire was definitely low. Um, really easy to use. You just plug, plug it in, put the PSI you want, and it goes. Uh, let me uh, do the front one now. And the slider on. Set it to the air pressure you want. I need 33 for the front. Hit the middle button. Right, that's it. I will say that this tire was embarrassingly low, dangerously low. I should have been checking it more often. Uh, I got this, even I got this air pump like a week ago and we had till now to make a video. So I'll do a better job of checking it regularly now. Um, but that's pretty much it so far, so good. Let me uh, turn Jamie's car off so we don't kill the battery. Yeah, that was simple. This brand, whatever Chinese company it is, I'd give that a 10 out of 10 for sure.